Well, there is just something special about a dog that knows when you're in need of a little extra love and compassion. Here in today's Forever Families is Reverend Carl Gibbs with our Savior Lutheran Church and Lutheran Church Charities Canine Comfort Dogs Ministries. That's a mouthful. As yeah. well as Comfort Dog Mala and our handler Judy here. So we are she so... She looks very comfortable. She was and almost it. passed out here yeah. uh, before we started. So let's talk a little bit about sure. the mission behind your ministry. Absolutely. You know, it's pretty simple. Uh, our mission is simply to take the mercy, compassion, presence, and proclamation of Jesus to those who are suffering and in need. So we go to those who are going through a difficult time, whether that's because of man-made disaster or natural disaster or otherwise, we come alongside them and give them a little bit of love. Yeah, the last time you were here, you um, were either going to Vegas or you had just, we had just back gotten back to Vegas. Yes. So what has Mala been up to since then? Well, she stays very busy locally. Uh, we, we visit a lot of nursing homes, hospitals. Uh, we've unfortunately been in a lot of schools after times of tragedies, but also non-tragic times. You know, we de-stress or we help students de-stress before finals or during finals week. Uh, but then she, this winter, since we were with you last, she did deployed to Parkland, Florida after the school shooting oh, there. Nice. And then also uh, Judy and I spent time in Santa Fe, Texas with Mala following the shooting there. She is so chill right now. Indeed. <laughs> and, and that's her training. But you know, we say it's kind of a comfort rug with a heartbeat. You know? Yeah. Uh, that's true. So how does, how does she go about comforting people in need? Because it's nice to have an animal presence. Absolutely. Certainly. But she has special techniques, right? Oh, she does. And you know, the best thing about what she does, and you're kind of seeing it here, she, she's safe, she's approachable. Uh, but the greatest thing is she listens. Again, she's non-judgmental. So folks can come and can share and open up about what it is they've gone through and they know that she's gonna listen and in turn, she just shows them unconditional love. And if you have secrets, she's not gonna spill them. <laughs> Absolutely, right. that's exactly right. Yeah. Now, I, we have video. I'm hoping that we can pull it up of your documentary oh, that sure. was just um, completed on your this ministry. This week, yes. So what, what led to that creation and that process? Well, you know, the whole Comfort Dog Ministry with Lutheran Church Charities, we only go where we are invited. So it's not as if a disaster happens and we just show up on the scene. Yeah. So we thought, what is one way we can further get word out so that folks who are going through a difficult time know that this, this option is here? So if somebody out there is in need of a little comfort, yeah, how absolutely. do they go about requesting those services? The easiest way possible is to just go to our website, which is K, the letter K, numeral 9, K9Comfort.org. Go to that website, and there's a button there that says request a visit, uh, and it's a, just a very easy process. So Mal is obviously a very special dog with the disposition to be able to handle something Indeed. like this. Are you guys looking to expand your core? If you will, of malas, like, like, because, uh, you know, yeah. people are in need all over the country. Absolutely. Well, the one thing that we are blessed in that is we are part of, again, of this organization, Lutheran Church Charities, which is based out of Northbrook, just outside Chicago. And right now, they have over 130 comfort dogs stationed across wow. the United States in 23 different states. And the ministry just continues to grow. I think this weekend alone, uh, we're placing one uh, in the state of Florida, going to be placed at Trinity Lutheran Church in Orlando, uh, which is where Mala served out of when she deployed after the Pulse nightclub shooting. Oh, yeah. wow. Well, Here's we, the documentary. Yeah, here it is. So it kind of gives a behind-the-scenes look of her of her sure. job and what she does. Judy, I know we haven't talked to you much, but you're strictly her handler, right? I'm one of her handlers. Yeah, there's several of us, and, and I'm one of them, which means I'm fortunate enough to go to these different schools and hospitals and different places and, and try to just bring a little smile to people's faces. And well, that, yeah, what was I was gonna say? What is the response like when Molly oh. comes? Oh, you know the <laughs> the elderly ladies are my favorite. They're just like, oh, a lot of them had puppies or dogs oh, when they God. were home before they had to go to the nursing home, and it brings back so many memories for them. And you've, ha you've had a life of pets in your home. Absolutely. It's hard not to have yeah. one with Absolutely. you. And yeah. So, yeah. so whatever the context of those struggles, I mean, you know, yeah. she's a great help. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It brings well, back good memories for them. Such a great dog. Oh my goodness, <laughs> so sweet. Well, we appreciate you coming and the work that you're doing Indeed. to bring Thank you. support.
support and comfort to those who need a little extra TLC. Thank, Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you. To see the full documentary and to learn a little bit more about Mala, head to CILiving.tv after today's show. What a neat dog. I wish she could stay oh. all, like all day every day. I know. And a neat, and a neat program, though, that they're doing there. Yeah. They've got lots of uh, comfort dogs. So.